Welcome back to Boris's High School Run. It is day 17. We were not raided. I could have gone out, which is a shame because it's going to be a waste of another day because I'm probably going to get raided tonight, so I can't do it. I need to learn this, those patterns a bit more. It's day 17. We do need to eat, so we're quickly going to eat up. As for stuff, we do have enough to make probably, I think, two more loads of alcohol to get that up to 14, which will be a big score boost. I think alcohol is going to be the biggest one. And once that's sorted, I can then think about moving on from there. Uh, you should sleep off last night, sure. Um, yeah, that is all of my sugar used to make alcohol so far. I can get more, but for now we'll focus on that. We could even get the guy today. And if the guy comes, I've got some. I'll probably give him one of these to see what I can get. The guns are good bonuses. I'm a bit iffy about trying to get the scoped assault rifle with Boris just because of his speed and his noise. Like, that's the trick. He is a good, like, fighter, but he is a bit difficult. It's a bit difficult to get him places unnoticed. Uh, as for that, I'm going to leave this. I think getting that fine is nice. Um, hmm. We will see. I may do towards the end of the run what I did in Arika's run, which was just building lots and lots and lots of chairs just to get, to get uh, the points from chairs. That was always a fun one. What else do I need to upgrade the workbench? Metal workshop. Just more materials. I just, I think I need to go out and just do a materials run at some point. Next time there is a raid, I'm going to try and go twice. I'm just worried that if, because if they come and I'm not here, they will just take literally everything. Anyway, uh, it's coming up to 9.30. Oh, the trader is here. Good. I'm not going to sleep yet. We're not going to sleep at all, Boris. That's good. What did you say? Oh, you weren't talking about. I was wondering if he was like, oh no, I stole from the those people. Yeah, it's really getting cold, actually. I really need, need to focus on it for those Americans. There we go. I have it always in centigrade, Celsius, either one, uh, because I'm English and that's just how we do things. Cool. So you have 31 things. You know what? I can get 30 of it. Oh, that's nice. Just for one of those, and that will be enough to do me a lot of things. Uh, I'm going to deal on that. Let's see what else I can do. Do I have anything else that's worthwhile trading? Um, hmm. You've got some fuel. I've got six fuel. I think maybe getting some fuel now, because obviously the winter's about to come. Although this hatchet is very good for that sort of stuff. Um, can I do that? I could even get that um, book. Maybe the book will push me to get like that. That's pretty nice. A bit of water and a bit of sugar to make another booze. And I'm wasting three for five. Possibly eventually six. So I like that. Um, I'm thinking about getting some of the wood as well, though. I'll deal with that one out, and then... Whoop! Almost clicked on go away. Didn't want that. I could get f this for all of that, I'm guessing, and some more stuff. Okay, those are worth three each, I think. They're either worth three each or four each. So you only need one to use. Yeah, they're worth three each. That's actually... This trade gives me a boost in score as well, so I'm happy with that. Um, anything else that I really care about here? I've got everything I care about out of this trader. I think. Deal. And send you away. Nice. Thank you. We're going to start by making ourselves a nice, lovely heater because Jesus Christ, it's getting cold. Hopefully we'll get raided tonight, fend them off, and then we can go out raiding once more. Not sure where the best place to go raiding is because I could get a lot of good stuff from the... Um, that's the one that I need. Yeah. Put the heater somewhere that I can actually access it easy. Why can the heater not go in lots of places? There, it can go there, place. Good. It can at least fit in somewhere. Because I was about to say, if it has to go somewhere on another floor, I'd be like running around to it a lot more than I need to. Oh, nice. At least getting this up and running would mean that I'm not going to worry about it freezing to death. On day 17, though, we've only got 13 days left. We really are pushing through this. I think this game, this day I'll go for 17, 18, 19, 20. Go back to the threes until the final. And then the final episode will be a bit longer. 
I'm trying to keep these to nines so that you guys can also have the tenth as the kind of like summary one. Uh, nice, let's put some heating in here. How much is it to us to upgrade? Uh, actually, I'm not too far away. Especially considering that's now fully, this here is now done as well. Uh, yeah. How much more? You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm actually doing all right here. Uh, I will need food in two days, but I've got some water. I think it's time to rest up and end the day. Day 17 will be ended, and we will see how things go. Nice. End the day. Get up. Uh, let us guard, and let us stay. Please tell me we got raided. It's day 18. It's still not actually getting cold. We're not technically in winter yet. We were raided. We traced them off. Perfect. All we're going to need to do today is wait to, and think about where we want to go. Because we need materials, which is difficult to get at the military outpost. But the military outpost could give me a lot more other things. I'm thinking maybe the warehouse, actually. You can get a lot of good things at the warehouse. And I don't... I'm not going to count the warehouse as a... As a morale penalty. Because, I mean, why would I? It's They're evil people there. Sorry if you heard that. Someone's clearly angry outside my door. My window, sorry. Um, overall, it's been a pretty pretty good run, I'm happy to say. Boris is doing his thing, and we probably will get uh, one of the highest scores, especially considering looking at the fridge at the moment. That amount of alcohol is glorious. We haven't, we're running a bit low on fuel, which could be a tricky one, so I may need to make sure I go get some wood with a hatchet somewhere. Maybe the... Maybe it may be worth just going to somewhere random. The trader was here yesterday. What are the chances that someone comes with a useful set of things? That's someone with a child. That's never useful. I'm going to end the day before they get here. Cool. So, we're going to scavenge, yes. There is... It says a huge amount of parts, but it's not materials, which I think is the one that I'm actually caring about. I could go for the construction site items, but it is a bit of a tricky one. The warehouse, I think... The construction site and the warehouse have the same amount of things, and I know the warehouse better. Like, I think I could take out the people at the warehouse and get the stuff. The warehouse it is, because I could come back to the warehouse afterwards and get a load of stuff as well. I'm going to scavenge the warehouse. Well done, Boris. We can do this. Let's take this. We're going to take the shotgun and ten bullets. We're going to... Um, Take the crowbar as well, because I do think there's a way of climbing over to make it easier to take them out. And I'm going to leave it at that. That's a good little collection of things to take with me. Let us scavenge. The thing is, the more actual stuff I get, the more li unlikely I am to want to do back-to-back -back raids. Because you're more likely to lose stuff if you are raiding after... Uh, I only need... I'll take both, though, and break this. Can you hear me if I do this? No, the, the sound wave stop there. Nice, because this will give me some more fuel. And fuel, as we all know, is the most amazing thing. And wood. Nice. I need to make sure I get enough materials, but also I feel like I could get a lot of other stuff here. There's going to be a conversation taking place here. I'll grab all of that. And I will jump down. As always, these guys want to chat. While they're chatting, I will open this. Give myself a bit of a nice exit. Or do they only start talking once I look through? Yeah, no, they only start talking when I click out. Them, which is annoying. So I genuinely have debated in the past just attacking these two guys. You know what? Just like, if I ran in, was like, I'm going to attack them because I could do this and just go and like kind of take them out easy the fourth, third guy would run to try and save them but I think it would be genuinely a very strong move probably safer to try and take them out quietly though you're kind of waiting this is a weird one Damn, that was not what I wanted. Shit. 
Shit. Shit. A genuine misclick, and Boris is out. Jesus. Okay. That was not what I was expecting in any way, shape, or form. I did say I'd give everyone one run. That was absolutely not what I was expecting to happen there. Oh god, okay. Give me a moment and I will tot up Boris's score. He did get a lot of stuff from the military outpost the previous night though. I was not expecting that at all. Damn. Okay, we'll see how Boris did. We didn't make it. God, see you guys at the other end. So the scores have been tallied. Let us have a look. If I drag this down to make it so we can see the running total. So let's start with the workbenches and furniture. So we start with five for the metal workshop. We upgraded the workshop regular twice. So that's another 10 points, 15. Had two stages of the oven, that's another five for each stage, so that's 25. We had two water collectors, that is 31, that's six points for just the water collectors. Moonshine still is five points, 36. We had a bed, 39, that's another three points. The heater, we did get in the end, so that's another five points to 44. Then we boarded up three times, so that's 44, 49, 54, 59. We did not get anything else. That is 59. Up next we have food. Now food, we actually didn't do too badly. We had 13 raw food left, so that's 26, and five, three, uh, 5 vegetables, which is plus 3, so that's another 15. So 26 plus 15 is 41. 41, that's not bad. Now comes the big score. Moonshine. There was um, five points per moonshine, and we got 14 of them, which makes 70. Overall, I believe, yes, 70 points just on alcohol alone. Weapons and armor. We didn't get any kind of armor, but we did get one shotgun, one assault rifle. I believe we also had a pistol, which I've not marked off here. And we also had 19 ammo. So that is 5 plus 5 plus 4, so that's 14, plus 19, so that's 33 on the weapons and armor front because we raided the military outpost. There we go. Next up is tools, where we had the crowbar, the shovel, and the hatchet for 15, but we also had seven lockpicks for three each. So that's 15 plus the set plus the 21. 15 plus 21 is 36. For meds, we only had one bandage, two meds, and two herbal meds. So that's 15, 19 altogether. Water, we had six water, and we didn't give anything away. We didn't do any kind of morality penalty at all. We do have the five for the death penalty, though, and the 13 for the days penalty, which puts Boris ahead of Arica by one point, even though he died on day 17. That is impressive. Honestly, that is very impressive. You know what, I'm going to leave it there for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and that is a very tight score, but the shows that the moonshine and raiding the the two big ones were the alcohol and the weapons. Because getting that 14 moonshine across the run saved this run for Boris. He lost 18 at the end for how much he, he messed up. Well, I messed up, obviously it wasn't him. Although, like, I think if I was, I should have only clicked onto the hatchet and then run when I had the moment to do it. I didn't have enough armor either. But Boris is in the lead. There we are. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time for, I think, Bruno. See you then.